So, kumusta naman yung the first two parts ng ating Perk CTM series? Kaya pa ba? So, I hope kaya natin yung ginawa natin so, for the first two parts. Now, this time for our um, tutorial 3, yan. Ang gagawin naman natin is how to determine yung slack time sa ating network and eventually, ma paano natin malalaman kung ano ang critical path ng ating network. So, let's go now! Yeah. So, after the forward and backward pass, the next um, thing that we are going to do, ang susunod natin gagawin, is to determine the slack values and the critical path. Okay. Now, yung formula ng slack natin. Ito. Yung LS, or yung latest start minus earliest start, or um, yung latest finish minus earliest finish. Okay? So, kung you have take down notes dun sa part ng nodes natin, nandun siya. Okay? Now, so titingnan natin yung forward and backward pass natin, yung value ng network. So, you have the earliest start. Pakikita natin sa table is, um, earliest start ng activity A is 0, um, earliest finish is um, 2, beta start is 0, and the latest finish is 2. Now, sa Slack, um, any of this formula, pwede ang gamitin mo yung LS or ES, or pwede mo rin gamitin yung LF or minus EF. Okay? You can... Um, choose between the two. Pero wag nyo lang i-interchange yan. Halimbawa, LS minus um, LF o kaya LS minus EF. No. So, it's either LS minus EF or LF minus EF. Kasi it, it would, believe me, it would, it should arrive in the same value. No matter kung ano ang pinili nyo dun sa dalawang formula na yan. It should be of the same value. Pag hindi yan ng same value, may mali sa network, balikan natin si network. Okay? Okay. Now, so, ang mangyayari is, um, tingnan natin tong although nasa example ko is LS minus ES. Okay. LS mo is 0 minus 0 is 0. Again, latest start. So, nasa si latest start, Okay, is 0. Then, earliest start. Nasa si earliest start? 0. 0 minus 0 is definitely 0. Okay? Now, tito, e eh, paano naman? Try mo nga pagka yung ano, latest finish or LF minus EF. Sige, tingnan natin yung value. You have 2 minus 2. Ito ah. 2 minus 2, it would arrive at 0 then. Okay? Yet, um, another example. Uh, I, I would just have to prove na um, either of the two, you would have to arrive with the same answer. Katulad ng um, activity B. Total naman merong uh, value siya dito. Okay? Uh, latest start ni activity B is 1. Ang earliest start niya is 0. 1 minus 0 is definitely 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay? So, ayun. Um, we just have to follow the formula para makuha natin yung slack value. Okay? Saan natin gagamitin ngayon yung slack value? The slack value is used to determine critical path. Okay? Nandun din siya sa critical path. Uh, when we say critical path, ito yung mga battle next sa project. Ito yung kailangan mong ingatan sa project. Which means, um, all of the activities within the critical path, pag yan nag-encounter ng delay, it will delay the project. So, 
uh, ang management mo and control mo, mas tututukan mo si critical path. Yung mga activities sa critical path, or we call it as a critical activity, um, kesa doon sa activity that is not part of the critical path or the non-critical activity. So, paano natin malalaman if the, the, the activity is critical and which one is a non-critical activity? We look at the slack value. So, lakat ng may zero are the critical activities. Yung may value ng slack are the non-critical activities. Which means to say that they could afford na ma-encounter ma yung delay sa project. Okay? Pwedeng ma-delay ma ng konti yung project. Kaya may slack value tayo dyan. Um, like, activity, um, like activity F, notice na ang taas ng slack value niya. 6. So may 6 weeks kang leeway kay activity F. Okay? Now, uh, after natin ma-determine, look whether it, if it is on the critical path or not on the critical path. Notice dito na yung zero, yes, it is on the critical path. Yes, it is on the critical path. Yes, yes, and yes. Pero yung mga slack value is no. Pero, uh, wag kayong madaya dito. Before you answer this table, okay? before you answer whether it is on the critical path or not, remember, again, before you answer whether it is on a critical path or not, um, I suggest na you solve the slack first. Okay? Now, there is um, an easier way para malaman natin yung slack value and which ones are nasa critical activity nang hindi na natin kailangan tong table na to. Tingnan natin yung ginawa nating network. Okay? Now, ito yung finished network after performing forward pass and backward, uh, backward pass. Malalaman mo naman kung critical yung activity. Okay? Malalaman mo kung critical yung activity if pareho yan. Basically, yung formula na LS minus ES, ito lang yan. Okay? So, once na pareho yung value, like let's say ito, ito pa, this one, and also this one, these are critical activities. So, ang critical activity natin is A, C, E, G, and H. Alam na natin, critical activity natin siya. Now, ang slack value dito, dito, sa activity B, we could consider this one as a non-critical activity. Kasi pag tinignan natin, 1 minus 0, you have the slack of 1. Same holds true when uh, dito sa right side, you have 4 minus 3, you have the same value of 1. In this case, you have the value of 1, 4 minus 3, and 8 minus 7. 10 minus 4 and 30 minus 7, you have a slack value of 6. So, nakita natin yung value nito dun sa table natin kanina. Pero ginamitan pa natin ng formula. Pero dito pa lang is, um, actually, you would know now whether the, the, the activity is critical or it is a non-critical activity. So, since we have a value of 6, slack value of 6, slack value of 1, and a slack value of 1, we can say na ang total slack time natin is 8 or 8 weeks. That's the example natin. Okay? Um, now, paano natin malalaman? We have another topic here nga pala, yung critical path. Alam natin na ang critical, ito ang critical activity. Pero is this part of the critical path. On our example, yes, it is part of the critical path. Okay? Um, since 
walang slack value, zero yung slack value niya. So, A, A, C, E, G, and H are all critical activity which belongs also to the critical path. Now, Tito, you may ask, Tito, pwede ba na lahat, para pag, ang critical path ba is lahat ng critical activity? Um, no. Kasi, merong mga network na halimbawa, itong D na to, halimbawa, itong D, uh, pagpalagi na lang natin for an example state is you have 3 dito tapos you have 7 dito. So meaning wala siyang slack value, magiging zero yung slack value niya. So which makes this also a critical activity. Pero we could not consider this one as part of the critical path. Bakit? Pag sinabi mong critical path, kailangan magsimula siya sa start at magtatapos sa end. Ibig sabihin, isang diretsyong pathway ang meron siya. Gets? Since kung halimbawa, ito yung critical activity natin, isang critical activity, this is considered as a critical activity but does not belong to the critical path. Okay? So, again, uh, for emphasis, ang critical path, lahat ng critical activity at nagdudoktong mula start hanggang end ng isang motion. Okay? Isang pathway, kumbaga. Yan. So, parang ganyan. Uh, notice na isang pathway lang lahat ng critical activities going to the end. Okay, that's it. So, that concludes or dyan nagtatapos yung part 1 natin ng PERT CPM. Kasi marami pang ibang um, activity na kailangan natin i-consider for PERT CPM or kailangan natin idagdag. Um, such examples are um, determining yung probability na matatapos um excuse me probability na matatapos yung project within the deadline so gagamit tayo diyan ng optimistic time most likely time pessimistic time uh, another thing na pwede natin i-tackle siguro I, I will try to tackle this on the next tutorial is yung project crashing when we say project crashing ito naman yung uh, Example, nasa within the deadline ka. Na, na, natansya mo na within the deadline ka. Pwede mo pa bang paiksiin yung project? For example, 18 weeks yung deadline mo. Gusto mong gawing 15 weeks. Pero, how much would it cost? Kasi ang project crashing, pwede mong mapabilis yung isang project para matapos. Pero may cost na kasama yan. Anumbawa, -constru ah, nasa construction yung example natin, nasa construction ka. Matatapos mo siya ng, halimbawa, 3 months. Gusto mo siyang matapos ng 2 and a half months. So, pwede natin i-consider dyan is para matapos mo siya ng 2 and a half months, magdadagdag ka ng tao. Meaning, magkakaroon ka ng additional cost sa manpower mo. Or, uh, magdadagdag ka ng man hours. Ibig sabihin, instead of 8 to 5 or 8 hours siya nagtatrabaho, gagawin mong 10 hours siguro per day. So, project crushing entails costing. So, may, may cost yan. Okay? So, it would help the project manager to, to arrive at the right or the right decision, hopefully. Kasi, syempre, when you try to decide, palaging sugal din yan. Pero at least, you have a basis for your decision. And that's it for another topic on our PERT CPF series. So guys, again, if you are satisfied on my tutorial, please like the video. And don't forget to share the video so others may be aware of the existence of my tutorial. And makatulong din tayo dun sa iba na nangangailangan ng tulong. Um, and more importantly, please comment on the video for, 
for my improvement on how um, I could improve my videos and also for a topic that I should do next and also don't forget please to subscribe to my channel for you to get the latest updates on the topics that I will be doing on my tutorial. So again guys, see you next time and keep safe and don't forget to share. Yes, <laughs> go!